Uh, the Great Lakes Research Center is a manifestation of one of these attempts to really help uh, understand freshwater uh, issues more thoroughly for not only the people of, of this area and the bordering Lake Superior, but all of Michigan and really of the world. Uh, Great Lakes Research Center is a $25 million project. Uh, the state of Michigan provided 75% of that funding. Uh, Michigan Tech matched the rest. Uh, we really are thankful to the state uh, for realizing the, that research and education are essential to the stewardship of, of the Great Lakes region, uh, especially starting with little kids. And you'll, say, you'll see when you take a tour that there are spaces in here that, that start uh, with uh, preschool uh, education where kids can come in and uh, literally get their hands wet and dirty and uh, you know, find out more about what makes big lakes tick. That said, we simply don't know as much as we really need to know about, about large bodies of water. Uh, the complexities involved with water, the water flows, nutrients, species, impacts of the atmosphere to really uh, determine and implement solutions. And that's why this project is so important. Michigan Tech is obviously well situated by virtue of uh, geography for one reason, uh, but, but because of the talent we have on campus and, and uh, the talent we have with our um, Michigan Tech Research Institute uh, in Ann Arbor, uh, we're, we really have a, a great team of people, a lot of talent to bring to bear on, on issues of, of fresh water. We, uh, we aspire to nothing less than being to the, basically the, the go-to place uh, for students interested in pursuing the study of fresh water, uh, for exceptional faculty members uh, wanting to work with exceptional peers from, from not only on this campus, but from other campuses, and from uh, federal, regency, regional, and state agencies uh, seeking to invest their research dollars uh, in research on, on the Great Lakes. I'd like to uh, recognize a few folks that uh, were really came in at very key moments to make this project happen. And uh, one of those uh, is standing right out here, uh, Mike Lottie, who was our state representative at the time that this uh, project was hatched. I, uh, I think I related before, for those of you that were uh, here for the, the groundbreaking on that very windy day, that uh, Mike was in, in Lansing on a very hot day, and I was standing on a swim platform on my boat, and my phone rang, <laughs> and Mike said, uh, you know, what, what project is a real priority for, for you right now? And I was so glad I answered the phone, because I said, well, this Great Lakes Research Center is something that we could really make an impact for. And, and uh, Mike was able to convince his colleagues in, in Lansing that that was uh, really a key project. Uh, another person that was kind of key in really coming up with uh, conceptualizing this and working with uh, Charlie Kerfoot, who's out here, and also Bob Baylod, who uh, passed away this past winter, or this past spring, was Bill Predabon. Bill's out on a boat in the lake right now with the <laughs> alumni from uh, mechanical engineering, but uh, but Bill, Bill did a yeoman's effort as, as being the guy that would could bring people in from across campus to, uh, to come up with a, a concept that would really work. Uh, our, our, uh, uh, the guy that put in a lot of work on this project, Mike Abbott, uh, where's Mike? He's a guy over here with a great taste in shirts. <laughs> <laughs> he was our uh, designated hitter. Uh, he, sp he spent pretty much all of his time in the last two years of his life uh, working on and worrying about this building and uh, all the big and small things, uh, for everything from you know doors to toilet paper holders and you know what fits and what doesn't. And, and Mike is uh, staying with the project. Uh, it paid off, Mike. Thanks. Uh,